welcome back students in this video we will finish this design problem that we had started in the previous video uh, where we are designing basically a 2 bit synchronous binary up counter with t flip flop and what we have learnt is uh, we needed to complete this table which included the present state next state and the flip flop inputs and uh, let us uh, continue from this let me again draw this table here so this table that is being available over here it is exactly the same that was derived over here so this is simply a copy of it now the next step is k map let us start with the k map so there would be two k maps one would be for t1 and other one would be for t0 so let us fill these values in the k map so it is 0 1 0 1 and the other one is all are ones now how will you uh, basically t1 is equal to q naught only and since all are one you can make a group of four and directly the answer is one so let us note it down then t1 is equal to q naught and t0 is equal to one and now we are ready basically to create a diagram for a two bit binary synchronous counter so let us see how we design it now uh, since it is given that we have to use t flip flop so there is only one input now this is t naught and t1 then it is q naught and q naught bar q1 and q1 bar now one thing is here since this is synchronous so clock would be given simultaneously to both the flip flop then uh, what we get from this k map is the flip flop inputs how inputs need to be connected how inputs need to be connected that idea basically we get from this design procedure that we have followed over here so ultimate answers were my t1 is equal to q0 so what i have to do is there is simply a connection from this q0 to t1 so this is my first statement and the second one is the value of t0 should be 1 so this t0 i have to keep as 1 so if you will simulate this circuit if i get the time i would uh, show you this on the proteus as well if we will simulate this synchronous design the counting sequence that you would get is 00 0 1 1 0 1 1 and then back towards 0 and i also uh, would request you you will compare this uh, design of two bits with the two bit asynchronous counter that we have designed in one of the videos and you will feel uh, how different and how you can say complex the things become if you start designing with synchronous counters uh, so i will stop here in the next video we will be uh, designing it for three bits and that video would be very important because that is linked to your practicals as well so stay tuned and uh, keep revising your notes and in case you are having some doubts you should uh, raise those doubts in the comment section i would be happy to answer your doubts till then god bless you all and thank you